Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chris. Welcome to my new channel. Um, I work on a lot of cars, motorcycles. I do a little bit of welding. I've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel for a while now, but just haven't really got around to it. But I'm in the middle of like three projects right now, so I feel like this is like the perfect time. So just stay tuned and I'll show you what's up. So first things first, I got this Jeep right here. It's a 1974 CJ5. It's pretty decent, you know, not, not too bad of shape. It's got a little bit of rust here and there, but I'm gonna be fixing that over time. And I will show you guys all of that as I go. And then I have a Kawasaki uh, ZX600J right here. Um, I started from a, a ground up build pretty much, so I took this thing all the way apart. I'm uh, putting it back together now. And then I have a 2008 CBR600RR right here. And I'm going to be putting the fairings back on tonight and getting it pretty much ready to sell. I'm doing a quick flip. I bought it for around like 2,000 and I'm hoping to sell it for like 30, 38 to 4,000. 4, uh, it's not perfect. The uh, fuel filter stays on, but I will be fixing that. Or maybe not, I don't know, it's a quick flip, so I might just sell it for like $200 less and that'll be that. And then this guy, like I said, ground up build, I'm gonna do a Street Fighter build. Uh, I have the fuel tank over there. What I've been working on on the Jeep is the, what I'm doing right now is the suspension. I'm doing the suspension first, then I'm gonna lift the body up and start doing the, uh, paint the frame and everything and all the suspension pieces but as you can see I have like some new I got the new suspension parts all the new grommets and I got a new drag link bar it's a little dark under there so you guys probably can't tell can't see it where is that oh yeah I can show you guys so this is what I bought right here for it it is uh the uh energy suspension and I'm almost finished putting everything on. I think all I have left is the uh, body mounts and the transmission mount and then the uh, back shackles. I just gotta do all the back shackles and then I'll be done with that. So that's where I'm at with the Jeep. My other plans for the Jeep are, um, I have a hard top coming probably in another like two months because I, bought it a month ago and it takes three three months to make and then it has to ship here so probably like probably like another two and a half months so I'm gonna give you getting the hard top for it I'm going to repaint it I'm gonna get a professional repaint it but I'm gonna sand it down and prime it and like I said I'm gonna lift the body up paint the frame and everything fix any rust I, I already fixed most of the rust on the frame there's just I think one more spot that needs a little bit fixing and then I'm going to go in here and I'm gonna probably redo the floors a little bit, like just paint them, I'll paint the dash. And then I have a back seat for it over there. Probably can't see it right now. But yeah, I'm gonna redo all of this. I'm gonna make it smooth it out, paint it black. And then, yeah, that'll be looking pretty good. It'll, it's already mechanically sound. The uh, the only other thing I have to do to it is just finish this suspension and then that's about it. And then we'll be good to go. So that's what I'm going to do on that. Oh, and the mirror. The mirror is broken as well. It flew off on the highway the other day. So that was, that was great. And then, but I am going to work on this right now. So I'll just do a little time lapse for you guys and you can see that.
All right, guys. So as you see, you know, I did a lot. Got the bike almost all the way put back together. There's a couple more things I need to do, but so far it's looking pretty good. Let's look at it from the side. Yeah, so it's looking pretty dang good. I didn't talk about it earlier. I kind of forgot to tell you guys, but I have already done a lot of work on this bike. Um, before it did not have a key in the ignition here. It was hooked up to the fan for some reason. So I rehooked up the fan back how it was OEM. Uh, I put the key in, got a new, you know, gas cap. So the key fits there too. And then I also uh, painted the frame. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like really nice and shiny. And I painted the engine as well. So that's what I've done so far on this bike. And of course I just replaced this. I showed you guys that when I was putting it on. And yeah, so this bike is uh, getting there. And I also have new grips for it because the grips are like super worn out and disgusting. So, but yeah, uh, I think that's all I'm gonna do for tonight. But like I said, I will keep working on this and I'll keep you guys updated.